What's up everyone, this is Worry JT and I am with my friend Dr. Juice right here. And um, the World of Tanks beta just got out for PS4. And as you can see I'm playing it right now. And we're just gonna do a quick review chat on like why this game is good and why this game is not good. And like what improvements the uh, producers can make on this game. Now first of all, what what would you give this game, Dr. Juice? Out of uh, one I would rate this uh, on a scale through or from one to ten, I would I would probably rate this about a seven. Personally, seven. I like the um, I like the mobile version better. Oh, like on the this iPad PS4 stuff? version is a little harder than the mobile version. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna say that because I always get my ass kicked in this game, <laughs> but for some reason when I play on my iPad, it's like I'm unstoppable. I don't know if it's just the game or if it's me. It's most likely me. Because this is new to me. I'm not used to playing this on a console. I'm used to playing this either on a <coughs> iPad or a phone or something. Yeah. Like, I honestly would give this game probably the same thing, a 7 out of 10. Because, like, I'm I'm used to, like... The, I'm, I would rather play this on PC. Because this was, like, originally a PC game, actually. And, like, it's just... True. It's kind of hard this playing is, it on here, actually. Like, I honestly... This versus War Thunder, I gotta say War Thunder is way better than uh, World of Tanks on console, but on PC, oh, yeah. I'll think I completely agree. Yeah. I, I, even though I really like uh, World of Tanks, I honestly think World of Thunder is better than World of Tanks on console, not on PC. And like, the tanks in this game, like, you start out like with crappy tanks, like, I'm, I'm in like, in a German tractor with a gun on it right now. Like, I've seen people with like, crazy Panther, Tiger tanks, freaking Soviet T-34 tanks are really crazy. That's why I like this game. It's like, it's like a, it's just, pretty much a World War II setting, but I think if you upgrade up, you can get, like, tanks, like, in the Cold War and stuff. Um, oh, yeah. right. as, as you progress through the game, the tanks get bigger as yeah. you... You'll just notice as you play, like, every tank you unlock, once you join a game with that new tank, you'll notice a few new ones that you haven't seen running around before. Yeah. And, um, the more you keep unlocking tanks, the more the game changes. Um... And I noticed this on the uh, mobile version. I started with these little tanks, and all I saw was like M2 mediums and T2 mediums and like T1 Cunningham running around. And then I started unlocking um, like the M4 Sherman and all these big ass tanks coming yeah. through, destroying me. The M4 Sherman is like a step up to like an actual tank. So that's like a basic tank. But what, what do you yeah. think about what do you think about like the driving mechanics in this game? Like how? What do you think about them? Like I personally think they're pretty good. Uh, I, yeah, I like the driving mechanics in this game better than War Thunder, because in this game they're a little bit more, uh, I guess I should say sturdy. Yeah. In War Thunder, in War Thunder, I don't know if anybody else notices this, but like, if you turn too fast, your tank drifts. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean, I know what you mean. That, <laughs> I've, I've just spun out like before. That. Yeah, it's like, it's War like kind of racing in War Thunder, but in this game it's like, it's actually kind of more realistic. Yeah. And, um, alright, the next question, what do you think about, like, the guns on the tanks? Like, do you think they're actually, like, you know, kind of matching, like, real-life tanks back in the day, or, like, do you think that, like, just, like, for show, like, in the, like, trying to make the game look good? Um, for World of Tanks, I think the guns aren't as realistic as they should be. Like, there's a burst fire cannon that you yeah. honestly can just full fire that gun, and I've I'm never seen a, a tank with a fully right automatic cannon before. Um, I guess that's because on the mobile version, the burst fire cannons have, uh, like a delay to them. Oh yeah. That, and they this have game, a this short game, way you can here. Just, you just spray somebody with a tank, and it's, it's funny, and it's actually really cool, like it's a fun feature about the game, but then again, like, if, if you're fighting against that cannon, you're, you're pretty much screwed, because it reloads in so little time and it can just yeah. fire so fast it's, it's just i think they need to nerf that or something yeah because cause like the armor in this game really can't beat a, a rapid fire cannon like that unless you're like in a huge tank then you can as to war thunder the armor is actually extremely realistic um, yeah there, really there's is. i've been in situations where my tank was so like 
weak compared to this other tank. I, I don't remember the name of it, but I think I was driving um, an M3. If you had a tank, like the best tank in this game, which one would you choose? In World of Tanks? Yeah, World of Tanks. Um, out of it's all the tanks, out of all the trees for all the like countries, I would probably have to go with the mouse or the maws. Oh yeah. However you want to pronounce it, on the German tree. Um, I actually don't think it's in this version of the game, but it yeah, is, is beta. in the mobile version, and it is also in War Thunder. Um, that is probably like one of my favorite tanks, if not either any of the Tiger tanks or the Panther tanks. Yeah, I've seen that um, tank before. The armor on it is really thick. The gun on it is really big, and it, it's really slow. But like you know, guns and armor make everything up. Actually, one more question: What about the graphics? Do you think the graphics are good in this game, or do you think they're bad or middle or what? Um, for console, they're surprisingly good. Like. I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm used to playing the mobile version because that's actually the most frequently played version of World of Tanks that I use. Um, and the the graphics are so cheesy. It's almost like playing like <laughs> a old school Grand Theft Auto or something yeah, it's like, like a slideshow. <laughs> it's like playing the Grand Theft Auto Vice City or in San Andreas. It's it's so cheesy, but it's <laughs> it's still like some some of my best moments were on my iPad World of Tanks. Yeah, about it. sometimes graphics don't even matter in some cases. But yeah, that's pretty much, we can both agree that World War Thunder will be better on console. And yeah, thanks for spending time with us for this review chat. And this is Worry JT and Dr. Juice right there. And we will be both signing off. We'll see you later.